No. Okay, I'm going to show you some alternative media techniques real quick here that are real easy to do. Get yourself a, a box, or I've got a paint tray here, something that you don't, you know, that you want to put some shaving cream into. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the end of that. And fill it up. I know this looks crazy. Maybe you guys have seen this already. I don't know. All right, there we go. Now, then for for drawing class, I you know you need to use you can use ink, which is more of a mess, frankly, in my opinion, or you can use a basic black craft paint, which comes in a pretty good consistency for this kind of project. And you drop or oh here, let's smooth it, smooth it out a bit here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to take a wooden dowel or whatever, and I'm going to swirl it all around here. You can drop it in in a more regulated fashion. You may swirl it in whatever sort of way you want. Okay. Work it all around. All right. I'm just going to push that right down there. There we go. Thanks. All right. My. Studio mate is helping me out here. All right, there we go. Take a piece of paper and you place it firmly down on your foamy, foamy stuff. And press firmly. You don't have to mash it, but you know, do get it on there. All right. Peel it off. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it will. Set this aside. Then you take something like a piece of mat board that I've cut. It's kind of small, but a piece of board or some sort of bread, something that's going to scrape all this stuff off. Use the other side here, clean side. There we go. And you have just made some marbleized paper with shaving cream. I'm not. I don't want to spray. It. I don't want to scrape it again. And you can, like I said, control it as much as you want to or not. And once this dries, it doesn't mar the surface of the paper. It smells really nice. And you can work over it. You can rip it up and put in collages. You can draw over it, paint on it, whatever it is, okay? This is totally, will dry totally dry in a little while, okay? As soon as that paint and that foam sort of evaporates away. It will not harm your paper either. This is the last one I'm going to show you real quick, and that is... Take that same paint or ink or wall paint works real good. And don't forget, we've got the splatter technique. I'm going to wa wa water this down pretty good here. You can use just your basic brush to drip or drizzle, depending on how much paint you kind of thickly put on there. Don't forget that paint, if it's thickly applied, is going to leave a little bit of a raised surface. But you can also use a toothbrush as well. If you want something to create like a, something like a starry night, you can do this in white as well. Load up your brush. Fine mists of spray of whatever. If you want it black on white or white on black. Okay. And it works on top of, we've used paint, it works on top of charcoal, pencil, whatever. Okay? Have a good day!